Hi everyone, this is Veronica and once again I am here in front of you and today we will discuss about West Nile fever which is caused by West Nile virus. So we will discuss why it is in news, uh, what are the uh, precautions we can take to keep ourselves safe from West Nile virus Okay, and what are the symptoms, what is the treatment etc. So, if you have any queries regarding my lecture, you can mail me here and for my video updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and for my PDF for this lecture, you can follow me on my Telegram channel, link of which has been given in the end of the lecture. So guys, this is a channel, Study IQ. If you are preparing for any government exams, then our pen drive and tablet courses are also available. For additional information, you can visit our site or you can call on these numbers. So, let's start. Why this... West Nile, uh, why this West Nile virus is in news. So recently you know that Kerala has been gripped by Nipah virus and we on study IQ already made a video, detailed video on the Nipah virus and now there is a fear of outbreak of this new virus. This is not new virus though but again there is a fear of outbreak from West Nile virus. Because recently a lady, a 24 year old woman is expected to be carrying this virus. Her sample, uh, body fluid sample has been sent to NIV that is National Institute of Virology in Pune. And doctors have confirmed the presence of this virus in her sample. But in these cases of the flu like symptoms are usually common and false pos positives cannot be ignored. So doctors need a reconfirmation. So a second sample has again been sent and they are waiting for the reconfirmation. And there are some news that two more people with similar kind of symptoms are there in the hospitals and they might also be having this infection. But again we have to confirm get it confirmed from the doctors so as the west nile virus is in news so we'll discuss about this virus now so basically this virus is a member of flevi virus genus and it belongs to the japanese encephalitis antigenic complex that this virus flevi virus as this wnv virus is from flevi virus genus and it is antigenically and genetically similar to japanese encephalitis virus also and they both belong to flevi viridae family now in the comment box please tell me what are the other flevi virus uh, which cause diseases in human being okay i will tell you the answer also but i'll see what you write in the comment box this is flevi virus but this virus is also known as arbovirus. Let me write here arbovirus. Arbo is derived from arthropoda family. Arthropoda phallum is which contains almost all the insects and born. B-O is for born. So insect born. This virus as its vector is arthropods. Mosquitoes are the vector and mosquitoes come in arthropoda phylum. Therefore, this virus is also known as arbovirus. Arbovirus. West Nile virus can cause death. Though in 80% cases people recover, but in 20% cases where it becomes severe, severe infection takes place in the persons who are infected with this virus, it could be it could prove fatal. That means this virus can cause death in such persons infected with this virus. Now, West Nile virus is fatal as I told you. Moreover, it can cause neurological diseases. What are neuro neurological diseases? Which are capable of inf infecting your nervous system. Nervous system uh, considers, uh, consists of brain, spine and your nerves. So, this, this virus could cause neurological disease in, diseases in humans. Though 80% of infected people won't show any symptom. Now, you need to remember this, that this virus, this disease, the infection caused by this virus is asymptomatic. That means they show no symptoms, but 20% people do show the symptom for this infection. The West Nile virus is known to cause severe disease and death in horses too. This virus causes fatal diseases in human beings as well as in other animals also, especially in horses. But there is an advantage in the case of animals as there is a vaccine available for 
this virus in horses against this virus in horses but there is no vaccine available in case of human beings now birds are the natural host of west nile virus but it is transmitted to human beings through mosquitoes you need to remember this and mosquitoes especially the culex genex genus of mosquito now you need to tell me there are other flevi virus as i asked you which cause uh, uh, diseases in humans like zika virus is a flevi virus dengue virus is a flevi virus now you tell me there are many mosquitoes which are vector or you can say carrier of many diseases like malaria chikungunya dengue now you need to tell me the genus of those mosquitoes in the comment box okay and for this west nile virus culex genus genus of mosquito is responsible this virus is commonly found in many countries like africa europe middle east north america west asia and this virus maintains a transmission cycle between birds and mosquitoes so it it happens like this suppose this is a bird this is a mosquito it maintained its trans a transmission cycle between birds and mosquitoes and other animals and humans could be incidental host to like human beings and uh, horses as uh, ma other mammals uh, like we already talked about horses also okay so let's move to the next slide now we'll talk about its outbreak history but before talking about other countries okay let me first tell you why it is known as west nile virus because the first case was reported in uganda and the district in which it was reported was west nile therefore it is known as west nile virus after that in 1953 it was identified in other birds like crows as i told you birds are the natural host for this virus along with uh, crow there is common dust sparrow which is a common host in new york for this virus almost 200 species of birds have been identified which carry this virus which are the host for this virus and this virus could prove fatal to almost 200 species of birds also <clears throat> so in 1999 this virus was imported to new york from israel and tunisia and later on lot of outbreaks in united states of america in almost all states of united states of america uh, outbreak of this virus viral infection has been seen until 2010 and except alaska almost all states in us have been affected by this virus except alaska other countries where the outbreak is common is like greece israel romania russia usa they have reported largest outbreaks of this virus initially it was there in africa parts of europe middle east west asia australia but since this virus has spread to us later on it also spread to canada and venezuela from us and even last year this outbreak took place in america and 2000 patients were reported to be infected with this virus causing 121 deaths that is a huge number so one more fact i want to give you here that one out of one out of five people who have been infected by this virus develop symptoms and one out of 150 people fall seriously ill because of this virus serious severe infection takes place in such people i already told you about the transmission of virus that uh, you, uh, birds are the natural host and it transmission cycle takes place between birds and mosquitoes and animals and mammals could be uh, an incidental host so human infection mostly occurs through bites of mosquitoes suppose a bird is already infected with this virus a mosquito is infected through this bird and then this mosquito stores this virus in the salivary glands and then bite the humans or animals and it injects this virus into them and then they multiply and cause illness in the animals or humans where it has been injected by the mosquito so here you can see uh, that reservoir host is the bird so this virus can spread from bird to bird bird to mosquito mosquito to bird and 
mosquitoes are the vectors for this virus incidental infection takes place to people and animals let me tell you one more fact here that humans are the considered as a dead host for this virus as this virus is does not spread from human to human uh, like till now no case has been reported where any infection has been reported from human to human like it is not contagious okay so humans are the dead host for this virus so now we'll talk about some of the reports from who as i already told you that transmission usually takes place from the bites of the mosquito and which genus culex genus but there are some rare reports where in some other form also it can be infected it can be transmitted like it can be transmitted through contact with infected animals their blood and other tissues there is one case this is a rare case where blood transfusion this virus has been spread through blood transfusions and blood milk and only one case where transplacental transmission from mother to child has been reported and once again let me tell you no human to human transmission of this virus has been reported till now through casual contact like if you are shaking hands with someone you won't get this virus okay so while there has been no reported case of transmission to health workers like in kerala uh, in nipah virus case health workers were uh, this that virus was contagious and they were uh, uh, this a uh, virus was transmitted to the health workers also but in this present case in case of west nile virus there has been no case where health workers have been transmitted by treating the patients or laboratory workers have been infected by any blood sample or something like that no reports till now so uh, this is a advantage of this virus in case any out- outbreak takes place so presently why it is in news i already t- i already told you in kerala a woman has been suspected of having infection because of this virus now we'll talk about signs and symptoms this infection i already told you is asymptomatic that means it shows no symptoms in almost 80% of people only 20% of people show symptoms who are infected with this virus and what kind of symptoms these are fever uh, let me tell you the symptoms are similar to the common flu symptoms there are no different kind of symptoms like fever will take place headache tiredness body aches nausea vomiting any kind of skin rash swollen lymph glands maybe according to who world health organization now in some cases when the patients recover there are some uh, reports where long time prevailing symptoms keep on going in such patients uh, these could be long term effects could be depression memory loss confusion insomnia okay so these some other symptoms are like neck stiffness disorientation coma so these are all the symptoms and about this i already told you one in 150 person likely to develop a severe form of the disease where it can prove fatal for the patients rest the incubation time of this virus is from 3 to 15 days or you can say 3 to 14 days <coughs> sorry let's move to next slide now we'll talk about treatment and vaccine so no vaccine is available till now for humans so ultimate option we are left with is to give supportive treatment which could be given by immediate hospitalization as soon as you realize there are some common flu like symptoms when an outbreak has taken place intravenous fluids are given to patients respiratory support like oxygen masks could be given and then as the immunity falls in such infections and such viral infections prevention of secondary infections should be priority of the doctors and i already told you vaccines have been developed for the horses as now there is no specific treatment for this uh, virus the common flu treatment is only given to the patients who are infected who are uh, infected with uh, wnv virus painkillers like ibuprofen and aspirin are given now let me answer the question where i asked you this uh, wnv virus the vector uh, the genus of mosquito which is vector for this uh, virus infection is culex so in case of zika virus aedes albopictus 
is the vector anopheles uh, could be the vector mansonia can be the vector even in this case in some cases mansonia has been the vector for uh, west nile uh, virus for de uh, dengue aedes aegypti is the vector chikungunya both aedes aegypti and aedes albopictus uh, are considered to be the vectors and in malaria female anopheles genus is the vector so i have already answered but i hope you have answered the question before i have done so so now i told you like prevention is always better than cure like uh, one more thing uh, this i heard somewhere it's better to prevent and prepare rather than repair and re repent okay so, like that it is better to prepare and prevent rather than repent and repair so when we know that this virus get transmits uh, to other people from mosquito so therefore you need to take all kind of precautions to keep yourself safe from mosquito bite so what you can do is uh, like in india right now monsoon season is going on and breeding on stagnant water of mosquitoes is a common phenomena so drain all the standing water and don't go out at the extreme uh, dawn and dusk you can avoid that so that you cannot get bitten by these mosquito even if you have to go out and dress properly wear light colored clothes which do not attract mosquitoes and keep yourself safe by wearing full sleeves you can also use a mosquito repellent keep your doors and window screens shut and even public health educational messages like awareness programs should be uh, uh, should take place so that public should be aware about these they should be given information about uh, such kind of diseases and how people can prevent themselves from mosquito bites and about these virus uh, such educational information awareness campaigns should be uh, should be made possible to reach out to the people so this is all uh, like you can only take preventive measures so this is about this virus if you have any queries regarding this lecture uh, here is my email and uh, for the pdf of this lecture this is the address of my telegram channel here you can get the pdf thank you